Good day everyone. Today we want to present our project for the subject BIC 21404 database with our project title Parit Bilal Preschool Student Enrollment System. And we are from group 3 and our group consists of 5 members in total starting from Yubash Nyana Perempuan Vishwanathan. Second is me, myself, Nyana Sri Armogam. Third is Wan Nur Athira Binti Wan Hamza. Fort Nur Iza Nazrina binti Muhammad Salmi and the last but not the least Nur Asiya Nabila binti Sabaruddin. Now I will present our chapter 1 which is introduction. So first of all we got our project background. A preschool plays a crucial role um, in producing quality students making enrollment management efficient and effective. An enrollment system integrates all activities involved in the enrollment process allowing admission teams to enroll most students so before this manual enrollment data recording was used causing lo loss and difficulty in finding old records due to that a preschool enrollment system was introduced to the preschool staff at Skola Kebangsan Parid Bilal to streamline their work and save time the system saves space in the office reduces paper usage and allow staff to easily find students' data with just a few clicks. As for the problem statement of this project, so first we got inadequate information sharing with students and parents and second is extensive usage of paper during the registration process and the third one is loss of student information due to not taking care of them very well. Next, we got the objective of our project where the first objective is to lessen the amount of paper used in registration process. The second one is to develop a system with recognized issues. And the third is to use a medium to distribute the information to the intended audience. The scope of our project is the Parit Balil Preschool Student Enrollment System will centralize student and parent data merging internal and external sources for decision making. So the second scope is the system will focus on preschool necessities and assist teachers in managing pupils during staffing shortages. And the third one is teachers can access information about former pupils and maintain student records online, ensuring quick and easy access to student and parent information. Next, we got our expected outcome for the project where it aims to streamline the enrollment process for parents and preschool administrators, reducing paperwork, manual data entry, and administrative burdens. It provides online registration options, improves um, student school communication, and ensures accurate data management. And the system generates reports and analytics on enrollment trends, class capacities and other relevant data aiding decision making processes. It also prioritizes fairness and transparency, implementing priority criteria and waitlist management to ensure equal opportunities for all the children. Data privacy and security measures are prioritized, safeguarding personal data and compiling with regulations. The system aims to create a more efficient, accessible and transparent enrollment process that benefits both parents and preschool administrators, ultimately contributing to an improved preschool education experience for the children. And as for the last segment for Chapter 1 Introduction, we got our project significance. The proposed preschool enrollment system offers numerous benefits to preschool, scholar, kebangsa and parit bilal, and its stakeholders. It minimizes paper usage, enhances efficiency, and improves communication between the school and the parents. The system saves students' information electronically, reducing staff workload and allowing for more enrollment. It also aids in disseminating information to targeted groups, boosting interaction between parents and students. Overall, the system improves the preschool's overall performance and appeals to both parents and students.
quality review, there is three enrollment system that contain features, advantages, disadvantages, and security. First of all, we have traditional paper-based enrollment system for the feature. This system involves manual collection and processing of enrollment forms and documents. For the advantage, family and easy to understand for both parents and staff. For the disadvantage, time consuming, prone to errors and loss of documents require physical storage space. And lastly, for the security, limited security measures as physical document can be easily exit or mislay. Secondly, we have computer base. For the feature, this system uses computers and software application to manage enrollment process. For the advantage, faster and more efficient enrollment process, automated data collection and processing reduce error. For the disadvantage, Initial setup and training required dependency on technology and infrastructure. And lastly, for the security, we have data decryption and access control can be implemented to protect student information. Lastly, we have online enrollment system. The feature is this system allows the staff and parents to enroll online through a web based platform. For the advantage, we have convenient and access, uh, accessible from anywhere, reduce paperwork, real-time update on enrollment status. For this advantage, dependence on internet connectivity, potential for system crash or technical issue. And for the security, we have probably security measures required to protect sensitive student data including secure authentication and data encryption. It is important for educational institution for carefully consider their specific needs, resources and security requirement when choosing an enrollment system. They should prioritize the system features, advantage, disadvantage and security measure to ensure a smooth and secure enrollment process for their student. For chapter 3, Database Design. Okay, so for flowchart, so flowchart we got start, homepage, about us, classes, contact us, admin and logout, then end. So for homepage, we got school facility, school classes, Schedule a visit, enrollment chart, teacher list, get in touch, and quick links. For um, teacher list, we got we can see a uh, view teacher's name, teacher's age, view subject, capacity of class, and also time of classes. Uh, then. Uh, parents cannot in due to uh, schedule a visit to view their children schedule attendance progress okay for about us there's just uh, about the system public bilan enrollment student so for classes we got school and schedule a visit that can be lot that can be access uh, for mother or parents then contact us we got address email address and phone number for Farid Bila school then admin can log in the system or if they forgot the password they can uh, retry or Restrict by username, mobile number, and password. So then log out. So log in. Uh, for log in admin. Uh, admin can enroll staff, enroll parents and guardian. Also, 
add view update delete all the data got the reminder and notification or any update about the enrollment so for cd we got three user which is admin staff parents uh, guardians so admin can log in view data delete data and also add user then he got also update on the enrollment status on essential deadline from the system and the parents can view schedule attendance child progress evaluation uh, can get also notification a reminder and updates from the enrollment status on essential then um, staff also uh, got a reminder and notification and also the update from the system uh, also staff can enroll student have a communication with parents or guardians and also update view and delete student data okay for dft audit bila preschool student in enrollment system we got three level for first level o diagram we got admin, staff, and guardian for parent. Then we got five process, which is 1.1 is validate username or password. Then 1.1 forgot username and password. Then for a second process, which is enrollment system, staff, parents, or guardian. And the third, add view, update student data. And then for the third point one is children attendant, attendance, evaluation, progress, and schedule. For our first process, which is 1.0, validate username and password, and also forget username and password that involve admin and data of user. For second process, which is 2.0 level diagram, name enrollment, students, staff, and parents or guardian. This involve the staff, admin, and also the parents and guardian. So this process involve to data store, which is student data. For 3.0 diagram, we got uh, add view update student data and children attendance evaluation progress and schedule okay this one involves staff and parents or guardians which is the data store in the student data which means a data store d2 so here the admin staff will updates view and delete the data student and the parents can view the children attendance progress evaluation and also the schedule for the class so here is ERD entity relationship diagram so here we got six entity with their attribute so first entity is admin, then class, teacher which is staff, so page which is a uh, website details, enrollment, also the website, and then parents and guardian. The next part is testing. Firstly, software testing. Software testing ensure that developer software is correct, complete, secure, and of high quality. It identifies error and distinguishes between failure and faults. Testing provides objective and independent information about software quality and potential malfunctions. It verifies software functionality and reliability after system requirement implementation. Testing can start with partially complete executable software. Next is the module testing and integration. 
Model Tensi Integration focus on testing individual program components like sub-programs, sub-routings, classes, or procedures. Model testing is a white box approach that examines the internal structure and logic of modules. The goal is to identify errors within the modules, not to demonstrate their proper operation. And model testing allows for parallel testing of multiple modules simultaneously. Also, the final integrated system undergoes extensive testing, including scenarios like duplicate entries and types make matches to ensure overall quality and reliability. Limitation. There are few limitations that we identified, which are first, language and cultural barriers. Since the website is only accessible in one language, it may be difficult for parents or guardians who are not fluent in that language. Second, limited support and assistance. Parents who run into problems or having questions during the application process may require immediate assistance or support. Given that the website doesn't have a live site, it may result in lack of adequate customer support channels or failures to provide timely response, which can cause frustration and impede the enrollment experience. And lastly, the privacy and security concern. Parents might be concerned about sharing sensitive personal information such as their children's personal information on the enrollment websites. To allay this fear, is it essential to implement strong security measures and clearly communicate privacy policies? That's all. Thank you. For the next part, I will pass it to my friends. Hello guys, for the next part is the back end code. I will show you a few examples of the back end code that have in our website for the user interface and also for the admin interface. So firstly, the user interface, I will show you the example of the enrollment page. As you guys can see there, this is the PHP code that is used to process form data for the enrollment submission. It contains the configuration and database connection details. <coughs> The PHP code uh, determines whether the form has been submitted by looking for the submit parameter in the post request, P-O-S-T, the post request. If the form is submitted, the code retrieves the form data and assign it to the variables using the dollar bills underscore P-O-S-T post super global. As you can see, there's a lot of it. And the empty underscore RAMD open and close bracket is function to generate a random element number and SQL query is execute to insert the element information into the database named TBL enrollment table. If the query is successful, the page is redirected to the index.php and a success message is displayed using the JavaScript alert function which is Enrollment details sent successfully. However, if an error occurs during the database query, the JavaScript alert function will display an error message, which are something went wrong. Please try again. For two summary, this code handles form submission for enrollment information. It retrieves form data and insert it into the database and display the appropriate success or error message to the user. That's for the user interface, enrollment page. Alright, so the next part is the back end code for the admin interface. I will show you guys the login page as the example of the admin interface. So, as you guys can see there, this is the code to a login authentication script. The code uses the mysqli underscore connect open and close bracket function to connect to the mysql database. The variables used to store connection information are host, username, and password. So, firstly, the mysqli underscore select underscore db open and close bracket function is used to select the database specified by the dollar bills db variables name. And if the dollar bills underscore post post username variables is set it indicates that the login form has been submitted if the post username variables is set the form usernames and password are retrieved and assigned to the variables dollar uname and password respectively 
and the code creates a SQL query to the select row from the login table whose username and password match the value submitted. The limit one clause guarantees that only one row will be written. The SQL query is executed using the MySQL I underscore query open and close bracket function. The code determines whether the numbers of row written by the query via the MySQL I underscore num underscore rows open and close bracket is equal to one. If it is, it indicates that the username and password are correct and the user has successfully logged in. A message success will be repeated that you are successfully logged in to the system. However, if the number of rows is greater than one, your username and password are invalid and error message is displayed which is invalid password or username or both. This is because the login phase they have two, one for the admin and the other is for sub-admin. Alright, for the next part is Alright, so for the code that you guys see here, the code is for the login functionality. The code start with section underscore start and includes the database connection files. So when the form name login is submitted, the code will retrieve the entered username and password. So for you guys information, the password is hash with the MD5 open and close bracket function for a second storage and comparison. So next is a SQL query is then executed to see if the entered username and password match and record in the table admin table in the database. If a major record is found, the user session variables, which are the dollar bills underscore session in the bracket AID, also the U name and the U types are updated with the query result values. Right then, the user is redirected to the dashboard page, which are the dashboard.php. However, if there is no matching record is found, an alert is displayed informing the user that their login information is incorrect, which is the invalid details. So that's all the example for the backend code in our website for the user interface and also the admin interface. Thank you. In conclusion, setting up the preschool student enrollment system can be quite advantageous for both parents and school administration. The technology can assist schools in operating more effectively and offering students better educational service by expediting the enroll, enroll process, minimizing paperwork and enhanced communication. Blockchain technology may also be used in web development to build, to build effective web apps with strong database and enhance security and privacy. A safe and decentralized infrastructure, increased privacy and security, and the ability to create smart contracts are just a few advantages of the technology which has already been integrated into a number of web service and application, including Antentrum and Civic. Overall, the Paribila Preschool Student Aroma System project has the ability to completely transform how preschools handle student enrollment while also enhance the overall quality of the system. That's all from our group. Thank you.